this tutorial, I will show you how to create two different types of titles in Premiere Pro CS6 and some of the tools you can use when creating these titles. I'll be showing you how to create both a lower third super title and also a static title plate that you may use to introduce your video or provide information to your viewer. We'll start with the lower third super title. You have the option to create something from scratch or you can use or modify the templates that come with Premiere Pro. To do this, head up to the toolbar, click Title, down to New Title and over to Based on Template. This will open out this box featuring the different templates available. Scroll down to lower thirds to browse those available. If you find one you like, you can select it and use this as is or select it and modify it. So let's select a lower third template. I'm going to name it something descriptive here, so when it saves into my import bin, I can easily recognize and locate it. Then click OK. This title creator will then open and allow you to change things within the existing template. You can alter or remove existing elements or change fonts and colors to suit your project using the different tools available in this window. We will now move on to creating our own lower third from scratch and I will go into details showing what different options are available to you here. So to create a new title, you first want to make sure your CTI, your current time indicator, is sitting over the top of the clip where your super title is going to appear. This is so you can build and create your super and make sure it will appear in a suitable place within the frame. So my CTI is where my super will be sitting. Now I'll head up to title, new title and select default still. Again, give your title a descriptive name. I suggest the name of the talent you are creating the super for. So if you need to make any changes at a later date, it is easy to locate the super in your import bin. Before clicking OK, make sure your title is the same size as your sequence and your video. You need your pixel aspect ratio to be DVPAL widescreen 16.9. Click OK and the title creator will now open. So let's have a look at some of the options we have here on the left to get us started. At the top, we have our selection tool, the pointer arrow. This is our basic tool we use to move things around within the title maker. You want to make sure you have your selection tool selected if you wish to move a text box around in the title maker. A common problem is to attempt to move the text boxes around while the type tool is selected. This leads to the creation of many, many text boxes, which can get very messy and confusing. Beneath that, we have our type tools. These are the letter T's and also the letter T with the small paragraph box beside them. You will note you have the ability to type both horizontally and vertically. There is also an area type tool for both horizontal and vertical. The difference between the type tools and the area type tools is that with the area type tool, you have the ability to designate an area for your text to go by drawing a text box. With the plain text tool, you are able to do this or you can simply click and start typing and it will type into a straight line right out of the frame. When creating a super, it's best to create the bed your text will sit on before creating your text, so you know how much room you have. That leads me to the next tools we have available that we'll be using in this tutorial, and those are the shape tools. You have numerous shapes to choose from here, and we will be using these shapes to form the base of our super title. Let's start creating our super title, and then I will be able to show you the many options we have available here on the right. So we'll start by drawing a shape as the base of the super. Then over on the right, you can change the color of the shape by altering the fill option. You'll notice all the options here on the right fall under subheadings and each subheading has a checkbox beside it. If you would like to use the option, you need to have the box ticked. You can have a solid color as we do currently, or you can have a gradient. There are also several styles of gradient available. Click to drop out this drop down menu and select linear gradient. In this case, you will select your two colors and you can have a fiddle with the opacity and also where both colors fade into one another until you're happy with the look of the base.
You can add a sheen that will run through the super and also change the colour, opacity and size of the sheen. You can add an inner or an outer stroke, so an outline to the shape, change the colour of this and the size. You can also add a shadow if you wish, changing the opacity and the angle of the shadow. The next option is background, but as this is a super title that is going to sit on top of our vision, we want our background to be transparent as it is currently, so we will leave this box unchecked. With these stylistic components, it's really about fiddling until you are happy with the look of your title, and you have produced something that is a suitable look to fit with the rest of your project. Once you are happy with the base of your title, it's time to add text, and this too opens up a whole lot of other options. Because I know the space where I want my text to go, I'm going to use the Area Type tool and draw a text box. For the purpose of the shoot, I'm just going to type talent name and claim to fame in the second line. Obviously you would fill in the relevant information for your talent here. Ok, so let's run through your options now. You need to make sure the text box is selected and highlighted for all the text options to be available to you. I'm going to start with font size. Hold down Ctrl A on your keyboard to select all your text. And then on the right here next to font size, I'm going to click on the yellow number and drag it to the left to decrease the number and the size of my text. Now up on top you have options to make your text bold, italic or underlined and you can alter the alignment of your text so you can align left, right or centre. Up here you can also change the size. You can change the kerning, the adjustment of space between two specific characters to compensate for their relative shapes and you can change the leading, the space between your lines. This will help you to get the placement of your text so it is balanced within the shape. Now back to the right, you have the option to change the position of your text box this way by clicking on the number and dragging left or right with your mouse. You can change the position left or right, or up and down. If you want to change the font but you're not sure what font you want, select all your text, hold down Ctrl A on the keyboard, then click inside the font family box and use the arrow keys on your keyboard to scroll through the different options. You will see, because your text is selected, it will change so you can preview what a different font may look like on your super. If you have non-standard fonts downloaded on your computer, these should show in Premiere Pro Title Maker as an option. However, if you then save your project and reopen your project on a computer that does not have these fonts installed, they will not be available. So, if you are using a non-standard font, your video will need to be exported from the computer that has this particular font installed. You also have the option here to alter leading, kerning and tracking, tracking being the measure of the overall spacing between letters in your block of text. You can alter the baseline and add a slight slant to your text. You have the option to make everything small caps. In Fill, you choose the colour of your text and can also change the opacity if you don't want it to be completely solid in colour. You also have all the options we went through when creating our shape, such as sheen and shadow. So these are the main tools we can use within Premiere Pro to create our own unique super title from scratch. As mentioned, it is a matter of fiddling with the different settings until you achieve your desired look. When you are finished, click the X to close the Title Maker window. Your title will now be over in your import bin. Simply click and drag this onto the video layer above your vision so it sits over the necessary clip. And there is your finished lower third super. To finish off, I'm going to briefly demonstrate how to create a static standalone title plate. 
You might use this for a video where you want to provide a title and some information at the beginning or end. If you're creating a video for assessment purposes, you could list your student number and project details for your assessor. To do this, we are going to drag our CTI out past all our vision so it is just sitting over black. Then we follow the same steps, up to title, new title, default still. Again, give your title a descriptive name and check that the aspect pixel ratio is correct. We can use all the tools we just went through to type some text and change the style of this text. Note the background option. We want to use this this time as this title will not be sitting on top of any other vision. You can have a solid background or a gradient. If you had an image you wanted your text to appear on, you would leave your background transparent and create your title with your CTI sitting over the top of the image on the timeline. When happy, click the X to close and the title will appear in your import bin. Simply drag it down onto your timeline where you would like the title to appear. That's all for our brief video on creating titles in Premiere Pro CS6. Be sure to check out our other Maps tutorials online.